My sister claims she caught my girlfriend cheating with a friend of mine. They both deny it. Throwaway account for obvious reasons. My girlfriend and I have been dating for a little over three years. Everything was great until about six months ago. We stopped having as much sex as we used to, and I'll admit, that was mostly my fault. Work got really stressful, and I had some family issues I had to deal with, and unfortunately, my relationship suffered a bit. We talked, and I promised to put more effort into us. I do think things have gotten better overall, but I know we both still have room for improvement. Despite everything, I absolutely love this girl, and I don't want to lose her. Last night, my girlfriend told me she was going to the club with some friends after work. I didn't think anything about it. They do this from time to time, so whatever. Last night, around 11 p.m., my sister sent me some texts saying she saw my girlfriend and my friend making out at the club. I didn't believe her, and she said that when she went to grab her phone to get proof, they had stopped but were still dancing very intimately and did manage to get a couple of pictures. It made me very uncomfortable. I asked if they left together, and she said she doesn't know. Here's my problem with this. About four years ago, my sister told me she had a crush on my friend. She confessed to him, and he turned her down. Hard, apparently. He told her she's not his type, and she's way too young. According to him, she was persistent and he ended up being a little mean about it. She was really hurt by it, and even now she refuses to speak to him. It took her a whole year before she could even be in the same room as him. As far as I know, she has a decent relationship with my girlfriend. They aren't friends, but are friendly. This morning, I sent the pictures in a text to my girlfriend and my friend and asked what the F was this. They both said all they did was dance. I told them they looked really close and that it was really inappropriate. She told me I was being paranoid. I told them what my sister said she saw, and after a bit of arguing, my girlfriend said I either believe her or my sister. I told her I don't know what to believe and that I need time to think, and she said whatever. I messaged my friend privately and asked him to explain everything. I basically begged him, and he hasn't messaged me back. Not answering me feels like a sign of guilt. I don't think my sister would lie about this, but there is a part of me that thinks she might have seen an opportunity to hurt my friend for hurting her. Or maybe I'm just being naive. I'm still not sure what advice I'm looking for. I just don't know how to go forward. Now for the comments. From the story... I believe your sister. She gave you proof that they were too close, and her story sounds plausible based on the evidence she provided. The silence of your friend and your girlfriend's crappy reaction, I'm sorry, I wouldn't look past this. Yeah, why would your sister wait three years to exact this revenge on your friend, OP? Like, seriously. That's an explanation you're considering? Unless your sister has a history of making crap up and making false accusations, that's a pretty flimsy way to explain this away. Every part of her story adds up. She was even able to get some pics. If your friend was innocent, he wouldn't be ghosting you, man. Come on. This is all wishful thinking on your part. Your sis did you a favor and you can't trust your girl or your friend. They clearly have no problem betraying you and lying to your face about it. You deserve better, man. Sorry this happened, but be glad your sister was there to uncover the truth. She did you a favor. Update. So I figured I'd give an update to what happened. They never texted me back at all. I probably would never have heard from either of them if I hadn't told them I just wanted the truth. They agreed to come over Monday night and explain everything. The long and the short of it is that they did go back to his place and have sex, but claimed it was the first time. About four months ago, they ran into one another after she and I had a particularly bad fight, 
that I don't remember, and he noticed she was upset, so he took her out to lunch, and they talked about our relationship and me. They exchanged numbers, and she ended up texting him about two weeks later. After that, I went fishing with some friends for the weekend, and apparently had been texting daily and hanging out two to three times a week. She went to extreme detail about exactly how I've pushed her away these last six months. I told her I thought things got better after we talked about everything, and she claimed it got better for about two, maybe three weeks, and then it was back to where it was. I asked why she didn't bring it up again, and she claimed she did. I told her regardless, she should have just broken up with me, and that cheating on me shouldn't have been her response to what happened between us. She agrees she effed up, but says I share blame in all this as well. I asked her if it was just sex between the two of them, and they both said no. I also asked, why not tell me the truth then? When I confronted them with the pictures, and they said they panicked. I asked him if he had anything he wanted to add, and he says he's sorry it happened the way it did, but he's not sorry that it happened. I told him there are dozens of women out there he could have gone for. Regardless of the problems between her and me, he didn't have to go for my girlfriend. He said she hasn't been my girlfriend for four months. I told them to get out. I don't really know how I'm feeling right now. I hated them when they walked in and when they left. But now I don't know. I went to remove her from social media last night, and she had a picture on her Instagram of the two of them. I skimmed through the comments, and some people were asking what happened to me. Some people were congratulating them and saying they looked cute together. So that didn't feel great. I also apologized to my sister for throwing her under the bus. I didn't realize that I did that until some people commented that that's exactly what I did. She said she doesn't care if it meant finding out the truth and getting them out of my life. I'm probably staying single for a while. Some people suggest a therapy. Maybe that's something to explore down the line. Anyway, that's it. Your ex-best friend and girlfriend are trash. Put them on the curb where they belong. Remove all forms of communication. Block numbers and delete across socials for them both. And move on with your life. They don't deserve one more second of your time, effort, and energy. I'm sorry this happened to you. You deserve to have better people in your life. Your ex telling you that you are partially to blame is a bunch of BS. If she wasn't happy, you break up. You don't cheat, especially with your partner's best friend. They are both horrible people. You focus on yourself now. Get therapy and learn from this relationship. Enjoy time with friends who've got your back. Take your sister out for dinner or something to just thank her and talk and have fun. Go fishing, try new hobbies, and enjoy yourself. The right woman will come along. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.